Okay, today I'm going to show you how to create a watermark for your photos that is white and has a transparent background. The reason that you would want to do this is for branding and advertisement purposes. So whenever I include an image like this on my blog, it's nice to have my logo down here in the corner just for branding purposes. And it's kind of a nice touch. It's a nice professional touch. So the question is, how do we go from a color logo like this on my blog to one that is white and has a transparent background? And I'm going to show you that here in just a minute. But first of all, I'm using this tool here called Share as Image. It's a little browser extension that lets you easily create pictures for your blog and for other purposes. You don't have to use Share as Image. You can use anything like PowerPoint or Photoshop or whatever. Any sort of a program where you can overlay one image on top of another one will work just fine. But in this case, I'm using Share as Image. So let me show you how this works. First of all, you want to go to your original image. Now, in my case, I use PowerPoint to create my logo, or rather a version of my logo. I changed it a little bit. But what I want to do first of all is create a pure black and white version of the logo. So with all this text and with this suitcase image, I've made sure, I'll show you this version, I've made sure to make everything the blackest blacks that I can. And the reason is because whenever you invert the colors on this image, you want the blacks to turn out the brightest white that you can. If the blacks in your black and white image are not truly black and maybe they're just a really dark gray or something like that, or like a charcoal sort of color, then whenever you invert that to a white color, it's not going to turn out white, it's going to turn out sort of cloudy or like a milky or cream color. And that's not what you want if you want this type of image that has a transparent background and where it's white and shows up nicely on a dark background. So in PowerPoint, I've created a pure black and white version of this picture. And I'm going to save this as a picture. And I've already done this and given it a title on my desktop. Now the key here is that you want to save it as some sort of a picture format. I've just chosen JPEG. And you want to save it as a pretty high resolution image. In this case, I've made the width 1,000 pixels. How you do that is go down here to Options whenever you're saving something in PowerPoint. Okay, but I've already saved this. And what I'm going to do next is go to a program called GIMP and manipulate this image a little bit. If you go to GIMP.org, you can download this for free. GIMP is a lot like Photoshop, except it's free. It has a bit of a learning curve to it, but I found that it's really well worth it. And I only know probably about 10% of how to use GIMP. But what I do know, it's, it's very powerful for the things that I use it for. So you can download that for free or you can use Photoshop or something else. I'm going to show you how to use GIMP today. So I'm going to open up GIMP and I'm going to open up my file. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to open up this black and white JPEG that I just created. It's going to ask me convert to RGB working space and I'm just going to hit convert. It brings up GIMP like this. This is your toolbox here on the side. I'm going to increase the view on this. So I'm going to go to View Zoom. I'm going to go down to 200% so I can see now a little Now the first thing that clearly. I want to do here in GIMP is actually invert the colors so the black becomes white and the white becomes black. So I'm going to go up here to Colors on the main menu and I'm going to hit Invert. And it's going to reverse the values of these colors. And the next thing I want to do is make sure your wand, your magic wand tool is selected over here. It looks like a magic wand, like a little Harry Potter wand. Then you want to go to Layer up at the top, down to Transparency, and then click Alpha Channel. And then you want to click in the picture. In this case, I want to click in the black. And what it's going to do is create these little moving lines all around everything that's not black. And it's doing this because it's identifying what we're going to make transparent. So it's um, helping us out that way. So I want to right click this. I'm going to hit edit. I'm going to hit cut. And you'll notice that it makes all of the areas that are black, it kind of has this checkered pattern, which means it's going to be transparent when we export it as a PNG file. 
Now you'll notice there are still some black areas that are actually contained within these white areas. So how do we get rid of those? Well, it's pretty simple. You just, oops, you just click in a black area, and I'm going to right click and hit Edit, Cut. I'm going to do the same thing for all these black areas. You'll notice that each time I do that, they're going to turn transparent. Over here to the right, there's one more. Okay, so it's transparent just like we want, and the next step is you want to go up to File and Export this image. Now the key is you want to export this. Okay, you'll see down here. You want to export this as a PNG file. And the reason is because a PNG can have a transparent background. Export it as a PNG file. And then when you hit export, it's going to give you this. Now I've already saved this, so I'm not going to actually do it. When you do this, it's also going to ask you, um, it's going to give you some options right here. Uh, and I just hit export. Okay, and then when you do that, then you have a PNG file that has a transparent background that is white. And so if, if I go back to share as image right here, you can upload your file and it becomes a watermark just like this. So hopefully that is helpful to you. Thanks for watching.